What's going on guys, Harvey Blanchard here. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing four tips when it comes to investing in crypto so you can have more success and make more money in 2022. So let's get into it right now. All right, what's going on guys? Robbie here, hope you're doing fantastic wherever you are in the world. And I'm excited today because we're gonna be going over something so, so important. Uh, if you are planning on investing any amount of money uh, into crypto this year and going forward, right? Uh, and this is so important. This is probably one of the most important videos I've done so far because I see so many people making the mistake where uh, they're making four simple mistakes. And I wanna go over those mistakes and, three, and four things to pay attention to right now uh, when it comes to investing in crypto, guys. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Robbie Blanchard. Over the past couple of years, I went from being a struggling gym owner to then becoming a top affiliate marketer. And since then, I've been able to invest those earnings into crypto. And now I've been able to have a lot of success with crypto. And I want to give back by doing these videos, right? So if you like these videos, guys, do me a huge, huge favor right now. Make sure you go ahead, hit the subscribe button because every single week we're pumping out new content uh, this year to help you have more success in the crypto and NFT space. Uh, also, guys, if you want to get more up-to-date information, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Robbie Blanchard one That's going to be in the description box. Uh, also, I'll go ahead and link it on this video as well. Uh, but let's jump into it right now, guys. So uh, anytime I go into, you know, say coin market cap, I'm looking at the crypto markets. Um, you know, here's what happens, guys. A lot of times, if you're like me and you're uh, in the crypto markets and you're looking at Twitter uh, and you're looking in the Discord channels and you're looking in Telegram, Telegram or whatever it is, there's all these different people telling you that this is the next best thing. This is going to 50x, it's going to 100x. And sure, some of that stuff does, right? Sure, some of that stuff does for sure. But here's the thing, guys, you have to be careful because if you're brand new and you listen to everybody and what they say, uh, chances are you're going to lose a lot of money. And you got to be very, very careful. So we're going to be going over a couple things here when it comes to uh, just some general uh, principles and rules when it comes to investing, right? Now, Obviously, this is not financial advice, right? Obviously, you got to consult uh, with your own financial advisor, uh, do your own research. You know, the, the crypto markets are very risky. You can lose everything. Uh, you know the drill, right? But I want to give you some good uh, things that I've used over the past couple of years that have helped me to invest and have allowed me to stay you know, relatively safe uh, and not be in a point where I ever put myself in a position where I get over leveraged or I get wrecked or, or anything like that, okay? So let's talk about it, right? So if we go in here to my screen, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the first uh, thing here, which is right here, only invest what you're willing to lose, okay? Uh, I see so many people uh, in this space. And I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen horror stories of people that have refinanced their, their house to invest in crypto or NFTs. Uh, they've gone and they borrowed money from friends. They've taken out huge loans. And of course, that's great when the, bar, when the, the coins are uh, pumping, right? But guess what? When the coins are not pumping uh, and they dump, right? For example, uh, Bitcoin, I know back in 2017, people invested, refinanced, everything like that. And then guess what? Bitcoin went from 20 down to three, okay? And those loans were still due. So never, 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 guys, uh, over leverage yourself, right? I see a lot of people doing this um, and you will get wrecked. I mean, you will get uh, in a very, very bad position. So do not let that happen to yourself. I don't care how awesome the project is. I don't care how, uh, how amazing it may, you know, an influencer may make it sound uh, and how you're going to 50 exit, right? At the end of the day, guys, you have to be only uh, willing to invest what you're willing to lose. Okay. So uh, perfect example, guys, you know, say you have, you know, if, if you're looking at a project and you got a thousand dollars to invest in it, right? And if you were to say to yourself, hey, if I lost that thousand dollars and I never were to see it again, would it affect my life? Would it affect my day to day you know, business, or my day to day life? Would it affect my family's life? If the answer is no. Then go ahead and invest it. Right. If the answer is yes, then think about it. Right. And, and certainly I would caution you not to invest it. Right. So really make sure, guys, you're only investing what you're willing to lose. It's so important to do this. Right. Uh, don't get caught up in things like, you know, here's a perfect example, guys. If I look here. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Um, let's see. Yeah, look, like for example, I, internet uh, computer, ICP, right? It was at $27 at one point, right? Uh, right now it's at $27. But look at this, like year to date or all, all time, guess what? It hit a high of $400, almost $900 at one point, I believe. And then guess what? People were like, oh my gosh, it's, it's $400. I got to invest, in invest in this thing because it's going to keep on going. It's going to the moon. Well, guess what, guys? <laughs> it dropped down to three hundred and fifty dollars, and then it came back up a little bit. So people were like, "Oh, I got to invest in this." They invested at three hundred twenty dollars a coin. Then it goes down, 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 down. Now we're trading at twenty seven dollars, guys. Right? So if you had over leveraged yourself or taken out a loan or something, 
uh, to be in this position where you invested up in here, well, guess what? You are in a bad, bad spot, okay? Never, never, never invest uh, when things are pumping like crazy, right? Never, never do that. Another perfect one, guys, I mean, for example, you know, Safe Moon, for example, uh, which I definitely don't recommend personally getting into it. Uh, but look at, look at Safe Moon, for example, right? Uh, all time. I mean, check this out, right? Back in uh, April of last year, it just skyrocketed, skyrocketed all the way up, guys. Came back down, skyrocketed again, and it's been holding steady, right? So you just, you don't want to be in a position where you're buying up top here, right? Or buying right here. When everyone's like buying, 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 uh, that's when you want to just be either, you know, waiting patiently for the dip to come because there will be a dip. There's always a dip, okay? And that's when you want to buy, right? And you never want to be in a position where it's pumping again because a lot of people see it pumping, 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 and that's when they want to buy. And guess what happens, guys? You end up <laughs> buying when it's high and you end up selling when it's low, which is wrong because you want to do the opposite. You want to uh, sell when it's high uh, and buy when it's low, okay? So you have to be patient and get your emotions out of it, right? And that's why I always tell you guys to have your entry points and exit points, right? Uh, so you know, hey, at this uh, at this price, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. At this price, I'm gonna get out of it, right? Who cares if you miss, you know, <laughs> if you get like a two to five X, who cares if you missed out on the five to 10 X, right? Because at the end of the day, profits are never a bad thing to take profits, okay? So that's the first tip, guys, as I mentioned, only invest invest uh, what you are willing to lose. That's so, so important. Uh, let's get into point number two, which is take profits. We just talked about this, guys, right? So if I go back to this uh, chart right here, there is nothing wrong with taking profits. I see so many people, uh, especially in the crypto space, you go on Twitter, everyone's talking about hodling, right? You got to hodl, <laughs> right? Or diamond hands, don't sell ever, right? Guys, there's nothing wrong with taking profit sometimes, right? If you're in a position where you know, like, okay, like, for example, if I'm just looking at just perfect example, safe moon, right? Uh, if people, if it's going all the way up here, you're taking profits, take profits, take profits, take profits, right? Don't be afraid to take profits here because if you bought, uh, you know, for example, say you bought here and then you went up here uh, and you didn't take any profits, well, guess what? Now you're waiting for a long, long time here uh, to get back to break even, or and right now you're, you'd be losing money still, right? So it's important, guys, to keep that in mind. Now, obviously, I'm not saying invest in uh, SafeMoon, right? I don't necessarily think it's the best one, but let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at, for example, um, Avalanche. Like If I look at Avalanche, uh, which is one of my favorite projects here this year, uh, but let's go ahead and just look year to date or all time. Look, see? Same thing, right? Uh, if you were down here, you bought here at $2, guess what? Right here, probably I would take profits because $24, that's a, that's a what, 10X, right? Pretty darn, or 100X or say, uh, from, yeah, 10X. Uh, from here, I should take profits, right? 10X is not bad, right? Sure, I missed out on the 20 or 30X, right? But that's okay. Then I could have re-entered back in here with the profits that I made, right? And same thing. Now to be in position where we're at one point, we we're at $134, right? you could still uh, do very, very well with that, right? So make sure you guys uh, don't be afraid to take profits, right? Don't try to hit the market or time the market uh, at the tip of the top, right? Because you're not going to, right? Nobody can, right? Uh, you absolutely cannot time the market. So you have to be in a position where if you have profits, don't be afraid to take some off the table. Another thing you can do, another strategy, guys, is take your initial investment out, right? So say you invested, say I invested $2,000 into Avalanche, right? And then let's say, for example, uh, you know, based on my based on how it went up, uh, my 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 value was now four thousand dollars, right? So basically, I put two thousand in. I've been, it's increased by two thousand. Now it's worth four thousand. There's nothing wrong with taking that initial two thousand out and letting the rest ride, okay? Because now you're playing with house money, right? So that's not a bad thing to do as well. Uh, so keep that in mind when it comes to investing, guys. Um, is to take profit. Don't be afraid to take profit, okay? Now let's talk about number three, which is dollar cost average, right? Another big mistake I see people who are brand new to investing, and, I, and that's a lot of people now in the crypto space because it's so easy to invest with Coinbase and uh, all these different uh, exchanges. And the problem is, if you don't know what to do, you can get into trouble, right? So uh, here's what a lot of people do, right? They go ahead and say, oh my gosh, I'm going to go ahead and invest in uh, Solana, right? So I'm going to go ahead and invest in Solana, and I have 10 grand to invest. Well, what do people do? A lot of times they just put that whole 10 grand in <laughs> all at once, okay? And that's okay if you're going to hold really, really long term, which is, you know, in Solana's case, you probably will. But here's the thing, guys. If you're in a position where you have $10,000, you could, if it was me, I would put, you know, maybe two grand in one day. And then, you know, the next week, another two grand in, another two grand in, right? And dollar cost average, right? 
never try to put one lump sum in because you can't time the market, as I mentioned, right? You can do uh, piece by piece. So for me, every single week, I'm dollar cost averaging. I'm investing small amounts into each uh, of my favorite projects. And that's what I do, right? Regardless of the price, okay? So, you know, for example, Bitcoin, right? Uh, I put I put money into Bitcoin and Ethereum every single week, right? Uh, whether it's at <laughs> the all-time high of 60000 or it's at 47000 right? It doesn't matter to me, right? Because if I invest over time, it's going to dollar cost average. That's the way you do it, guys. That's what uh, you know traditional uh, experienced investors do. And I would encourage you to do the same thing. So make sure you always uh, dollar cost average. All right, let's talk about number four here, which is don't FOMO. Oh my gosh, I see so many people uh, FOMOing, which basically is the fear of missing out. Do not FOMO when it comes to uh, any crypto or NFT space, right? Uh, project, right? So, so important, right? Uh, I know I've been talking about, um, I've been talking about uh, the crypto space, but let's talk about NFTs real quick here. Uh, just an example of FOMOing, right? Uh, Mechaverse would be a perfect example of this, right? So, if you invested, for example, uh, in Mecha, Mechas, right, which were this like really hyped up project, <laughs> okay? And let's say you were to go ahead, and at the time when they released these guys, people were buying these at five Ethereum, six Ethereum, seven Ethereum was the floor price, right? The floor price. Now it's at 1.5, right? But can you imagine guys, if you bought right now at seven Ethereum, five Ethereum, you're losing a lot of money, right? Look at this person, right? This person bought 7.5 Ethereum. And guess what? They're selling it for 1.75 Ethereum, which is a huge, just tens of thousands of dollars they're losing on this stupid deal because they FOMO'd into it, right? Uh, not what you want to do. I mean, this person here bought uh, 0.92. They're going to make a little bit of money there on this one. But you never want to FOMO into a project or a, uh, or a, a coin, right? Just because you, you don't want to do it, guys. You're going to get wrecked. Uh, if you FOMO into it, you're usually uh, not going to be where you want to be uh, in terms of profits, right? This person here, look at this, 5.79. They're selling uh, for less than 1.99. So a uh, perfect example of that, guys, right? If I go back to Solana, for example, let's say, you know, if, if the price was, uh, let's see, all-time high, um, the price was uh, $258, guys, and you're buying right now at $258, probably not the best time to buy, right? When it's pumping, when the coin is pumping up, you probably don't want to buy. You probably want to be a little patient. <laughs> and in the crypto world, wait a week, right? Wait, wait two weeks, right? Uh, because things will change very, very quickly, right? And then if you'd waited, look at this. I mean, from uh, November 5th of 2021, it was at 258, uh, to then down here, which was December, which was basically just over a month, right? It was down a hundred dollars guys, right? So if you had waited right now, you get way more bang for your buck right here uh, at that lower entry price. Okay. So just be patient guys. Don't FOMO into projects. The one thing I've always found, uh, whether it's an NFT project or whether it's a, uh, a cryptocurrency, is that there's going to be a huge pump and then there's always a dip after the huge pump. And there's not a bad, it's not a bad idea to take time uh, and then to go ahead and invest after the pump happens, right? Because if you believe in the project long term, uh, it's fine to get in later on, right? Uh, if you're trying to just do a quick flip or a daily trade, um, that's a whole other story. I don't do that personally, so but that's something where take your time. Don't FOMO into the projects like that. So uh, hopefully that makes sense, guys. Hopefully these four tips, once again, only invest what you're willing to lose, take profits, dollar cost average, and don't FOMO, right? Never FOMO into projects uh, because you will get wrecked, all right? So anyways, guys, hopefully these tips have helped you guys out. And once again, if you like this video, uh, make sure you do three things for me right now. Give me a thumbs up. Show me love the content. Also, post your comments. Anything you want to see in terms of uh, coin reviews or, or NFT uh, projects, anything you want to see, guys, comment below and let me know so I can go ahead and make those in future videos. And finally, guys, hit the subscribe button because every single week, I pump out new content to help you have more success. And also, guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for all updates on crypto NFT space. That's it for me. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.